is Manchester United 4, Chelsea 1, Manchester United securing top 4, Manchester United securing Champions League football for next season. And that guess and guess what? Do you know what that means? That means Liverpool don't get a chance in the Champions League. Yes, Manchester United have been sure that the Scousers will not make the Champions League next season and proper as well. Manchester United beat the proper Chelsea. Proper Chelsea, the proper Chelsea, Frank Lampard's team, right? Frank Lampard's team, Chelsea, 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 Chelsea. They get battered everywhere they go. Chelsea get battered everywhere they go. Chelsea get battered everywhere they go. Everywhere they go. I'm telling you guys, Manchester United collecting three points. Oh, it's so sweet. Do you know why? Because we don't spank Chelsea or not that often, you know. For, uh, throughout every encounter against Chelsea, it has been nerve-wracking. Sometimes we lose that Stamford Bridge. Sometimes we just beat them. But to spank them, because I predicted a 3-0, but they done us better. They gave me four goals to one against the Chelsea, those scums. And they now sit on page two of the Premier League. And it looks like they will be finishing on page two of the second of the Premier League, and they have the worst season of them all. And we rightfully so they deserve to beat them. But at times, Chelsea scared us, guys. Yo, yo, whoa, whoa. In the, in the first time, was like, whoa, 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 whoa. Are you trying to equalize? Because Manchester United themselves let them come into the game a bit, come alive in the game a bit, guys. And it wasn't, we didn't like that. But we fixed up in the second half. But again, this match as well ensured that we finish in the top four and well done to Eric Ten Hag because Ten Hag in his first season a trophy a Champions League position he has outshined anyone that's ever had their first season at Old Trafford at Manchester United any manager in the past he's done better than them yes the win rate position uh, um, ratio for Manchester United as first time manager for the first season is exceptional and big up Eric Ten Hag for the magnificent and marvelous job that this guy has done this season but yes Back to this game. Back to the first half for Manchester United themselves. Yeah, it was a good first half for Manchester United, you know. <sighs> but at times I did tell you that we allow Chelsea into the game in the first 45 minutes. And of, despite the fact that we scored the first goal early as well, the early goal, we still let Chelsea come into the game in the first half. But the first goal, let's go straight into it because that goal... Kase, Miro Kase, hero, a lovely set piece crossed by Christian Eriksen, delivering it straight onto Casemiro for another header. Another header. You know, this guy is so good in the air. Seventh goal of the season. Casemiro is doing pains, guys. The best defensive midfielder of the world, you know. Best DM in the Premier League. Yeah, these guys, Roderick, they got nothing on him, you know. Thomas Pate. Partey, that's, you know, Thomas Housewoman. They've got nothing on him, bruv. All these defensive midfielders that you guys talk about, Fabino, which is a, it's just basically a, a shit Casemiro, a B-Tech Casemiro as well, to be honest with you. they got nothing on our guy, but The best defensive midfielder in Real Madrid are probably missing him because they got knocked out in the Champions League. With that lovely header, guys. And then Manchester United, of course, in going towards as well, and I have to say, Anthony Martial was poo, he was pants, he sucked for the whole 45 minutes into the second half as well. But Anthony Martial got his goal and off from, from the set piece from Jaden Sancho as well. Jaden Sancho doing so well to find and square the ball to Martial to tap it in as well. But before that, the pass! The no-look pass from King Casa, King Casemiro as well, scooping the ball over, finding Sancho. And then Sancho said to him, Marshall, people still think you're shit, right? Let me pass the ball to you. And then Marshall just finishes it in. And you know what? He's thanking the gods. He's doing all this. He's saluting to us fans because us fans have had enough of him. We don't want to. We, we stopped saluting him a long time ago because we were fed up with that guy, guys. And it was 2 new half time, second half. We're bouncing. Like, first uh, half time. We're bouncing. We're like, yeah. We're good to go for the second half. We've ensured that we've got Champions League. Now, guys, just go out there and do an ollie and express yourself, right? Just enjoy yourself. Go and have fun. And Manchester United got to have fun in the second half, you know, because the second half was good for Manchester United. We enjoyed that as well. 
beautiful as well for Manchester United to go out and score two more goals. And of course, this third goal coming from a penalty. You know what, Bruno Fernandes, I feel like he kind of cheated his way to, and conned the ref. But I couldn't give a shit. You know, uh, for Fada, yeah, you, you flopped. You should have not stuck your leg out. And then Bruno smashing it in, scoring as well. He's his own. He's, he's, he's scored a goal because he hasn't scored for a while, Bruno Fernandes, you know. And he could have scored a couple of goals in this in the second half as well. And in the game, I'll be honest with you. And then, of course, Marcus Rashford. You know what, Chelsea was so shit. You're thinking, oh my God, you know. They go and make a defensive error by Fofana. Where's Lee Fofana? One of the Fofanas for Chelsea because they've got all the Fofanas in the world. Yeah. Wesley Fofana messing up the, the, the play, passing directly to Rashford and our guy Sir Marcus Rashford. You know what, take his opportunity to score his 30th goal, he, he was like, you know what, if you're going to give me the ball to score my 30th goal, I'm going to take it. You don't do that. I usually feed people, but you want to feed me? All right then, thank you very much. I'm going to eat this meal. And Rashford, so he did. He scored, making it 4-0 to Manchester United, but then... Imagine that conceding that goal in that in the late minutes. And I know David De Gea was not happy with that, but Jar Phillips, what a wonderful goal. And it, it finished off four one for Manchester United full time. And to be honest with you, I'm happy. I'm I'm happy with the game. I'm happy with the guys as well, even though at times they allowed Chelsea to come in to the game and find a way and they had opportunities Chelsea in the first 45 minutes but they rectified that in the second half and they did win 4-1 and I'm happy with it and we go through to the Champions League we're in the third place baby on top of Newcastle bruv that's what I'm talking about I think we're about six points behind Arsenal now bruv Arsenal fans what are you saying what are you saying now a couple of points behind you sorry I had to burp because as soon as I mentioned Arsenal had like these gastric reflex bruv you know, ugh. Mm. But what are you saying, Arsenal fans? I'm happy, guys. It is what it is, but guys, this has been your match reaction from your boy. My man of the match today, guys, has to go to Casemiro, donkey of the match, Anthony Marshall. You guys let me know who your man of the match is and your, who's your donkey of the match is and let me know what your thoughts on today's game as well. And as always, remember to subscribe, smash that like button and share across all platforms. We're back live this Sunday for the final game of the season and then we've got Monday to catch up as well to discuss the games as always guys remember to keep it united and remember to keep it ready United. your boy is out peace